talk to Sheffield. Set things straight. Find out what he knows. Associates, how can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? Hello, you there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. You want to let me in or is this how we're going to do business now? Do the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. Mr. Montana? Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Uh, 
Do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? Yeah, he in here. There's a couple of guys from Vice in here, too. Watch your back, Tony. Thanks, man. When it comes to pickup line, man, you have to do it. Hi, yes. Say hello to the bottom of the barrel. Why don't I cut your fucking throat, man? I'm sorry, Tony. Don't be mad at me. If you're wanting free legal advice, how about a little head? Seriously. We need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? War. That's what. Sosa probably think I'm dead or run off or something. Well, I'm back, okay? This is my town, my world, George, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. I come to talk to you first because you know what's going on. You still work for me, George, huh? You still my lawyer? Tony, babe, you know the score. Uh, it's gonna be dangerous to be associated with you right now. Word's gonna spread that you're back in town. Can't do it. Spread the word, Chef. Come on, look at me. I know Miami. I'm gonna take it all back. You know it's true. So surprised taking all those other guys for a big ride. Caspar Gomez, Nacho Contreras, the Diaz brothers. They're all fucking worms. Hey, you want me? It's gonna cost you, Tony. And more than before. And that chicken feed, either. Where's the loyalty, George, you fucking snake? I know you got connections. You just gotta make it happen. You took my money before, and that makes you just as bad as me. But I'm alive, George. I'm alive. And now what you're gonna do, huh? You still work for me. All right, Tony. You wanna get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. And Tony? I, uh, I don't work for free. Coco? Never heard of her. Got to talk to Felix. Find out what he knows. Why do you always hang around this club all the time? Don't you have a job? You know, my work is mental, Tony. I leave the physical crap to thugs like you. Oh, I'm a thug. That's why I live in a mansion and you live in a condo. No, that's why you live in constant fear and I live in modest bliss. In fear? I ain't afraid of nothing, man. Nothing. Tony, whatever you say, just don't bring your war onto my doorstep. My war isn't with you, George. Just don't get between me and that salsa fuck. Trust me on this, Tony. I would rather stand in front of a speeding bus than be anywhere near the two of you. What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's pussy. Well, little man, I'd be real careful walking around town with that stuff. Yeah, you never know who you might run into. Hey, who'd you call a little man? I kicked your ass all over the dance floor, okay? Okay, Tony, no more bullshit. You know how this works. We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. Oh, you guys don't quit. You're like a, like a fucking cockroach, always looking for that hole to crawl into and worm your way in. Look, buddy, we know what you're up to. We've got our eyes on you now. Watch for us. We're everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? The cable guy, pizza Fuck. delivery. Hell, we might even be cleaning your mama's carpets. Fuck that. I gotta talk to Felix, see what he knows. You look like a pugilist, man. Used to be. Started seeing double all the time, though. Slipped a corny or something, I don't know. Tragedy, man. How'd you end up with this guy? The owner lost a bundle on my last fight. This is how I repay him. How's that your fault? You should have bet on the other guy. He paid me to take a fall. I didn't do it. I broke the other guy's neck instead. Hey, never take a fall for anyone, man. You stand tall for number one, okay? Man's gotta be true to his pride. Right, right. Wasn't pride, though. I needed the money. I just forgot which fight to fall down in. <laughs> I guess boxing wasn't all that great for my memory, either. So what did you say you wanted again? No! 
Now I gotta kill somebody. Stupid fuck! I can't believe how fucking stupid you are! you doing, man? Oh, shit. It's fucking true. Oh, word spreads fast. Tony, Jesus, it's good to see you. How's business, Felix? Just here working all the angles? It's tough, Tony. I've been laying low, you know, since you left. Sosa's trying to run me out. He's putting the squeeze on all the small-time suppliers. Surprise! All that gonna change. The others are pissed. Nacho Contreras and the Diaz brothers lost out. They heard about Sosa working with Gaspar. It's a war, Tony. They're all trying to take over what you had. Tell me what you know, man. I was at your storehouse two months ago, you know. I didn't know what was going on. Word on the street was that you were dead, so I had to look around. When I got there, I recognized a couple of your guys, but then I saw Gaspar. He was inside watching over the loading of the delivery truck. I bought a couple of keys off them, but the price was jacked. It's been tough since you left, Tony. There are only a few independent dealers you can trust anymore. That's all gonna change. Do you work for me? We take this town by the balls. I'm with you, Tony, if you need me, man. I need to start making my own moves. Gotta get back in, you know? Gonna have to pay off the vice to get my mansion back, fuckers. From there, we can rebuild the business. Take what I've got to get you started. Talk to Coco. She's one of the only dealers we can trust anymore. She works the bar down in the Grove. If you ever need a hit to get rolling, just come find me, Tony. Okay, man. Tony, it's good to have you back, man. The fucking Sosa's gonna die for what he put me through, man. You're speaking my kind of language. The cockroach better run and fucking hide. I've taken back what's mine, Felix. I got what you need, Tony. It's good to be back. Although things have fucking changed around here. This town is going to hell without me. You know I'm on your side, Tony. Nobody gonna take it away from me again, man. Tony, I got some pure powder for you, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Yes, Gotch. On the rocks? Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. No, but you've been here before. A long time ago, you were with another man. Tall, good-looking Cuban guy. Oh, you got a good memory, Tiger. Felix forgot to mention that. 
Felix. <laughs> that dog, he owes me a night out. You know each other? Felix is working for me now. He said you might be interested in what I got to offer. Well, that's fine in the boy, isn't it? Look, supply is tight in Miami right now. Expensive. All my shit's being controlled by Gaspar Gomez. That prick keeps the prices too high. I know this town better than anyone. I get the shit, you sell it. I collect my coin, you keep yours. Hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. What do you go by? Montana. But you can call me Tony, okay, Posica? Okay, Tony. I can only push so much product in a day. The bar has its limits. The others around, though, just can't always trust them. Me? I only trust one person. I hear you, Tiger. <laughs> So, how come such a fine lady like you is pouring drinks for these assholes? Because I make more college money than a Wall Street broker running this bar. College? What you learn in college that's better than the lessons you learn in life, man? This from a man that probably doesn't even know how to read. I can't read, man. I can't read fine, okay? I can even read your fortune if you want me to. Oh, really? And what would you see in my future, huh? Why, uh, you, me, a little ice cream, some low lights, you know? Can't see that experience lasting more than a minute. No thanks, I'll pass. Hey, I got all the best connections in town, okay? You want this shit, believe me. I hope you're ready for this, man. You're lucky I need that candy, cabrón. Don't waste my time, okay? Show me what you got. It's good to know you, man. I don't know who you're fucking more, me or your mama. Fuck! Now I gotta throw you in the trunk with the rest of the dead bodies. I seen better drivers in leisure world, man. Stand by. Hit and run suspect. Tony M. Cuban. Black hair. Short. Approach with caution. Repeat. Approach with caution. You fucking scratched my car, you piece of shit! I can't believe how fucking stupid you are! Government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. 
You know how this is gonna work from here on out, don't you? Fuck you. Mel Bernstein tried this shit on me once, and it didn't work out so good for him, you know. Mel? He wasn't a team player, Montana. You did us all a favor. Look, Montana, Miami is our backyard. The people pay us to make sure scumbags like you keep the economy nice and stable. We don't want to get in the way unless you force us to, understand? Our boys on the street keep tabs on you. You start doing too many things that upset the people, then your heat goes up. If your heat gets too high, then we'll be forced to make a house call. So, if you want to keep it cool with us, Montana, we suggest you make a donation. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax a little. <laughs> Watching you, boy. The fuck was that? Fuck ass shit. Fuck that! Felix, it's Tony. Hey, Tony. Did you see Coco? Oh, yeah. She said you're terrible in bed, man. Look, I got my old house back. The fucking vice. This place could use a cleaning, you know, like, uh, like a maid or something. Felix, you know what you were saying about Gaspar working out of that storehouse? Yeah, Tony. What do you think that cockroach is doing? What kind of operation is he running here? Well, it looked like he was running cash out of there. I saw an armored van in one of the delivery bays. He's probably smuggling cash for laundering. It's a lot of guards, but not impossible to get a look. You want me to go in? No, that's okay, man. I paid that Hassan visit myself. <laughs> 